I want to talk about Uncommon Valor, a Vietnam story. Yeah. Um, Jedi Mind Trick. Shout out to Vinny Paz. Hold up, but John John, uh, got, you got legendary Talib Kweli shouting you out. Um, before Biz <laughs> yeah. Markey passed, Biz shouted him out and did a beatbox. Okay. He went, poof, John, poof, poof. John John. So I'm just saying, That's he's, beautiful. He's, he's got a lot of, John John got a lot of rappers on his team. But uh, okay, he's better to than cut you two right here. <laughs> he thinks he's better rapping than <laughs> yeah. me too. He's like, I better than you. Yeah, all right, yeah. son. Soon, yeah. soon. <laughs> um, this Sorry. record, Uncommon Valor, uh, by my estimation, is one of the most important hip hop songs and verses ever written of all time. Thank you. Um, the storytelling is on the level of Big and Slick Rick, and it's real. Shout out to your father, Sar Staff Sergeant John A. Thorburn, um, one of the victims of the government's Agent Orange program. You played your father in the music video that you did for this record. Can you break that down for us and why this experience was important for you to share in your music? Well, it's real life, you know, and uh, my father was a, a highly decorated uh, war veteran and they flew him into these secret missions to fight, uh, you know, a, a war in Vietnam that what the hell were we even there for, you mm -hmm. know? And he was 17 years old. They, they train you, they put a gun in your hand, they turn you, they say, hey, you know, we're going to kill a lot of people. And they, they give you a million dollars of ammunition my father by himself, a million dollars of ammunition, one man, mm -hmm. you know, six, uh, um, 4,000 bullets a minute, boom, 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 you know, mm -hmm. mowing down people and trees and, 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 and but uh, uh, yeah, they'd fl fly him into these secret missions and say, hey, you got to rescue the American soldiers. And he'd have to get all these soldiers out of enemy territory. And they, there was a chemical called Agent Orange that the, that the government sprayed on its own people. It sprayed, it sprayed on the Vietnamese people too, and it, it kills the crops and the foliage. And... Uh, he got shot down eventually and, and spent 11 months in a body cast, came home, and we thought he was okay. He had a limp and shit, but uh, he gave birth to me and my older sister. We were okay. But then years later, my sister Dee Dee was born. She couldn't walk or talk. She, you know, so they said they didn't know Agent Orange yet. But then, and then my brother, he couldn't walk and, or talk, and he was blind. So, you know, because they said Dee Dee was one in a million, but then my brother's born that way. Mm -hmm. And then my nephew, my older sister had a kid, and she and uh oh he's fine he's fine and then three months in they said no he's not fine he has this disease where uh when a Gahoffman syndrome where his body's gonna just stop working mm -hmm. so uh he's, his muscles are gonna get weaker and weaker and weaker and he's gonna die so like three of the children in my family you know uh my sister Didi lived till 25 my brother Max lived till 10 my nephew lived till six months old they all died from a chemical and you know, because they all say, "Oh, Assad poisons his own people." You know, everybody. You know, every other government's bad. And if you do something bad to your people, we're gonna the United States government. We're gonna get you, and we're gonna kill you. You know. And uh, but meanwhile, we do it to our own people. But we're not the bad guys. We're the good guys, right. right? So you know, I'm just one witness, and and I'm just one family. You know, this this was you know, if Vietnam, the, the people all over being born with like no eyes, no limbs, no legs. You know. Uh, um, Women having like 11 miscarriages, women having cancer, and like it destroyed Vietnam, like that chemical, you know. And Monsanto, you see, just got bought out by Bayer for like $1.3 billion. And, and we're, we're all still fucking with Monsanto and doing business with them. But meanwhile, we're so concerned about the world's health and we're the good guys, the USA. But, you know, it's like so. I, I grew up in that era with the, you know, my dad had the kill them all, let God sort them out, you know, the military shirts on. I grew up around that. And then as you get older, you realize, like, wait, this, this is, uh, you're, you're, you're uh, hyping up uh, murdering and, and killing of, of children and civilians and people worldwide under the guise of we're the good guys, you know? So that's, that's what our government, uh, you know, so that's where I stand. <laughs> yeah, well, regardless of where you stand on. Because I'm, you know, I'm an anti, I'd like to consider myself, or I try to be as much as I can as an American citizen. Yeah. I try to be an anti-imperialist guy. Yeah. Um, regardless how you stand on whether or not Americans should be intervening in certain things, the way we treat our veterans is it's trash. deplorable. It's atrocious. It's, it's like the worst shit ever. Well, my father, they offered him uh, $2,200 a year for four years in return for the handicapped <laughs> children and, you know, and, and the sicknesses. And he was, yeah, oh, shit, sure, you know. Mm -hmm. So he got, yo, I just got my $2,200 check and, you know, bring home pizza and Chinese food. You know, he was on a struggle. He, he, he wasn't the richest guy. He was a broke, actually. So, mm -hmm. so uh yeah, so four years, he made about $8,800, where if he really went in and sued and sued and knew what he was doing, he probably could have got some real money for, for that. Life. So with your your aunt though, did she all, did she have a husband that also went to Vietnam or or was no it your sister it was a sister's, I'm, sister's oh, no son. my older sister who was born oh, normal who was born See, who that's had the thing the is child. Agent Orange oh, okay, got it. Agent Orange doesn't even just 
uh, destroy the, D, uh, the, you know, it destroys the DNA of the child and the grandchildren, and the grandchildren as of, oh. you know, and it could be great grandchildren too now. We, we, we don't know yet, but uh, I, I'd have to look into that. But so far we know the kids and the grandkids are affected by Agent R. So we don't know how long that stays in your DNA. It could be forever, wow. you know? Mm. What we don't start it. Look at what we don't start it. This the people party. When opportunity knock it, then young nigga move that dope. Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow roll with it.